Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is Monday morning and I am finally back in my groove. It was Gary's 21st birthday last week and we went a bit mad, Gary, didn't we? A bit too mad. We went a little bit mad celebrating his birthday. Well, not like mad, we had a night out and then we had a little midweek getaway in a spa in our favourite hotel and resort down in the Europe. And yeah, we just had a really relaxing week where we weren't really strict on ourselves at all in any way. But anyway, I'm happy to be back into my routine. As I said, it's Monday morning. Perfect opportunity to just start with a clean slate, get back tracking my macros, and back to my usual training routine. So I have less than two weeks until we go to Vegas, and I have been doing a lean bulk for the past couple of months at this stage. So I decided to cut my calories down just below maintenance until I do go over because we're gonna have pool parties and I haven't been the best the past week slash 10 days or so, as I mentioned. So I'm gonna peel things back a small bit. Nothing drastic, but I just wanna be feeling myself by the time I get there. So I think it's like 10 days from now that I'll be hitting up Vegas. And that is for the Olympia Expo with Ghost. So if you are gonna be there, make sure you comment below because I cannot Way to meet all of you again. Expos are my absolute favorite and this will be my first time at Olympia. I've done Body Power I think three years in a row now I've been at Body Power but that's the only expo I've ever done so I'm obviously really excited for Olympia. It's going to be massive. So I have already been up for a few hours and I haven't had my first meal yet because I've just been tidying and cleaning the apartment. I absolutely love cleaning my apartment on a Monday morning because it just sets me up well for the week but we're gonna to go to the shop now pick up some food and fill these cupboards and get ready for today. In case you're wondering as well, this is not my top. This is Gary's top and I slept in it last night and it's actually back to front and I'm only realizing that now. So that's my Monday mood right now. So I just changed my top and my pants. I'm ready to go. I normally would do my food shop in Tesco but the car park was burned down this weekend and the whole like shopping centre is closed. And I was actually really lucky because my car was only parked in there like two or three hours before the car park went on fire and it was like the biggest fire ever literally it was enormous and there was like 60 cars burnt down so really lucky that we're still here in my lovely car and we're not burnt to dust but yeah tesco is closed so i'm gonna head to aldi instead and they have most of the things i need anyway so i'm not too worried This is how my little top up is looking. Some yogurt, eggs, chicken, turkey, veg, and fruit. Ready to go. Okay, and this is my first meal of the day. So we have two turkey rashers, two whole eggs, and an egg white. And I also have a bagel with some low fat butter. This is the butter I normally use. There's like 50 calories per 10 grams. And 10 grams like just perfectly covers the bagel. I'll leave the calories and the macros for this meal on the screen now as well. Okay, that is breakfast done and I'm just about to sit down and get back to some client emails. So I do actually have a couple of spaces left for this month for online coaching. For anybody that's new here, I am an online coach and I work through my fitness app, Carolina Mani Fitness, where I basically give customized meal plans, training programs, and 24 seven support. So I will leave the link in the description box if you are interested. So grab them while you can because it will fill out. Okay, emails are done and I have just started shopping for Vegas and just for September in general because it's getting colder and I'm not gonna lie, I am slightly excited about wearing jumpers and like cozy clothes again. So this shop is a bit of a mixed one, as I said, because I am shopping for Vegas, which will be super hot. And I'm also shopping for like jumpers and like joggers and comfy clothes. So I'm gonna show you a couple of the bits that I'm thinking of getting. So this is the bikini I picked up because we will have a pool party. And I got this mesh cover up to go over it. I just thought this was so cute. It has like the cutout on the side here. It's long sleeved and I just think that would look really nice with like gold sandals, gold jewelry and glasses. And then underneath the mesh, you'll be able to see the cheetah print bikini. And I hope it looks as nice as what it does in my head. When when it comes. I also picked up these joggers. Can we actually deal? Look how cute these are. I absolutely love the belt. And to go with those joggers, I picked up this little crop top and I just love that kind of style at the moment. I think that will look really, really cute. Okay guys, I was hoping to have my pre-workout meal as a bowl of oats and whey, but it is not looking good for these oats. 
there is literally nothing left in them. So instead, I'm gonna get my carbs from fruit instead. I'm gonna have some berries, I'm gonna have some yogurt and a banana. And that way at least I'll have lots of more carbs to play with in my post-workout meal. Oh my God, <laughs> unreal angle, thanks so much. <laughs> Does it feel being 21? Terrible, I want to be 20 for rest of my life. He's a big boy now. Yeah. He actually had the fear all week since his birthday. He's like, week. he's had a bad week. Really, really bad week. <laughs> don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. He's afraid of growing up. I know, I just want to say 20 forever. Like. I know, 21 is a good age though. At least we can like drink in America now. We have no worries, Like we can yeah, do whatever great. we want. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I'm having my pre-workout meal. Looking very, very fruity. I'm having my yogurt, my fruit, and I'm also gonna have two bananas because honestly, one just wouldn't cut it. For a heavy leg day, I know I need more carbs than just one banana. I believe this is everybody's worst nightmare when you look into your protein or your BCAs or your creatine or whatever it is. You can't see the scoop. Oh no, I can't feel it. No, Gary, I don't think there's one in here. Did you steal it? Okay, we're just gonna use the scoop from the aminos instead, but I'm just making my intro workout shake, my usual antics. I have a scoop of aminos and I also have the ghost size, which is creatine. I have this every day in my intro workout shake. And I am also going for sour green apple flavor today. It's my favorite, as you probably know at this stage. Okay, it's gym time. You ready? down and dig into my post workout meal and me and Gary just remembered that we actually have a birthday meal this evening for Gary's sister Lauren so Lauren turns 24 today Lauren is the gal that does my nails and does my tan and always keeps me on fleek for my nights out and yeah she turns 24 today so I literally have about 30 minutes to get into the shower wash dry my hair do my makeup and get ready so slightly panicked normally if I am going for a meal and if I know I'm going I'd kind of keep most of my carbs and fat for that meal but I've already had two meals today and I can't remember off the top of my head what my macros are looking like but I know I have over a thousand calories left so I'm not too bothered and I know they have like good healthy clean options on that menu as well it's a really really nice restaurant it's called the Elm Tree so instead of having my post-workout meal I'm gonna jump straight in the shower and get ready and have our meal as the post-workout meal instead because I know either way it's gonna be a bit more calorie dense than what we expect because let's be real majority of things that we eat in restaurants are deep fried so gonna keep most of my calories for that now I better get in the shower and start getting ready because we'll be late and I'm always late for everything. <laughs> 
literally my whole life is delayed but anyway i'll catch you in a few okay so we are on the way to dinner now i'm absolutely starving neither of us had a post-workout meal so we're gonna go in here now i have plenty of calories to play with anyway i'm on 5,000 calories today because today is density day for me unlike Friend caroline on, like, yeah caroline, caroline has a high day as well today on legs don't you yeah, you my, do, yeah. my calories i've changed that up recently only the past like two weeks i'm trying out like having high days and low days so on leg day i have a high day Upper body is like regular and then my rest day would be like a low day where my calories kind of change So I've never done that before And so throughout the week you're still in the deficit, correct? Yeah, at the end of the week I'm still in a calorie deficit but it's just something that I wanted to try out Like Gary has been doing it so I was like, why not play around with it? Yeah. Did you look up the menu already? Oh, absolutely That's one thing that Caroline is actually really good for as well When we always go for food, she makes really smart food choices um, so you. credit to you or credit is due. That's a really good trait to have and a lot of people don't have it so. I wasn't always like that though. I know before like if I was going out I'm like oh my god I'm going off plan. I'm gonna fucking get pizza, I'm gonna get chips, I'm gonna Go get like, the whole lot. Whereas now because like situations like this pop up and before I would have panicked. Whereas I know I can make a good food choice and it won't like set me back for the rest of the week. That's a really good habit to develop as well. I think I'm gonna get two starters. I normally do this. I'm gonna get the prawns and I'm gonna get the homemade soup of the day. If I like it. Plain safe. What are you gonna get? I think I'm gonna get the barbecue wings staple and then I'm gonna get the tenor sirloin steak. Uh, that last time was amazing. So, so much. Mm -mm -mm. This looks so good. What's the soup again, girl? Potato and leek. Potato and herb. Potato and herb, sorry. Some bread. Okay guys, we are back from dinner. It went down really, really nicely. I had the prawns and I had soup. So I think I didn't do too badly. I'm guessing there could have been like five, 600 calories in that. Not too sure because as I said, most things are cooked in oil and those prawns were drenched in oil as well. But look, I'm gonna do my best with putting it through my fitness pal and estimate what I think it was based on my experience of tracking food. I feel like the longer you've tracked your food, the better you get at it. It's like a skill you sort of acquire and eventually you'd sort of be able to eye up foods and estimate calories and macros in them. For someone that's never tracked food that honestly probably sounds so crazy but it just happens over time and that's why I always recommend to beginners when you're starting a meal plan or if you're starting in the gym and dieting and you want to figure out what's best for you I always recommend that for at least a couple of weeks you go you download my fitness pal and you track your food just so you get an idea of the calories and macros in different foods that are around you and the good thing about that is that you learn about different foods not being as bad as what you thought they were. I remember before I started tracking calories there would have been certain foods that I would have completely excluded from my diet because I just deemed them bad for me but as soon as I started tracking and doing if it fits your macros you realize you can actually really eat anything you want. Not that I recommend just going and eating foods high in saturated fats or like foods with a low micronutrient profile. I would never recommend that but you get to learn that you can eat the foods that you once deemed bad for you. That's one thing that I learned when I did start tracking calories. So if you're watching this video and if you're new to the gym and you're new to dieting then I would definitely recommend it for a few weeks track your food see how you get on there's honestly a lot you can learn just doing things on your own before reaching out I just changed into my comfy clothes again so I have a full Alfie tracksuit on me and for the first time in honestly months I've had to turn on the heating in the apartment I think it's like 20 degrees in here which sounds really warm but like normally it's around 24 but the temperature has really dropped and I'm absolutely freezing so I turned on the heating I'm in my cozies and I'm gonna have one more meal before I go to bed it's actually quite late now it's just gone nine and I normally don't really eat this late in the evening but we had unexpected plans so I don't really mind okay guys this is my final meal and I know it won't be everybody's cup of tea and it looks absolutely disgusting but it's honestly really nice I have pasta chew and lighter than light mayo and honestly that meal is the cheapest most macro friendly meal ever it's just a bodybuilding meal I feel it's just really plain simple and just tasty before bed so we are just about to sit down and watch power to be honest me and Gary just had the chats about power and we both came to the agreement that it's actually just not as good as what it used to be so the agreement was power's the biggest little shit ever <laughs> like it used to be so good before but it used to be a lot better like honestly yeah 
There was a fight scene in the first episode back, and it was honestly pathetic between yeah, Ghost and Tommy. They're I'd, supposed to be rootless killers. I know, and they were like talking to each other yeah. while they were fighting. It was like something from Coronation Street. Let me know yeah. if you watch Power and what you think of the newest episodes and the new intro. Yuck. Oh my god, yuck. Like 50 Cent, very controversial. Anyway, guys, on that note, I am going to wrap up this vlog here. We're going to chill out for the evening, going to eat my pasta and tuna mm. and have tuna breath for the night with Gary. Unreal. <laughs> if you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.